Welcome back to rmucolonials.com and your Women's Lacrosse Weekly Update. I'm Matt Geiger from Sports Information, and I don't get to say this often, but I'm in the presence of an all-time Division I record holder in junior midfielder Jess Karwacki. And, and Jess, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate the time. Uh, you hold the all-time record, as I just mentioned, in draw mm -hmm. controls, and you had 21 just this past week uh, against St. Francis in the conference opener. So right back into the rhythm. You missed a game due to injury. So my first question for you is, when you pile up 21, it seems like you're pretty comfortable, right? So how did you get back into that rhythm? Um, you know, I've done draw all my life, um, from middle school to high school, club team, um, practicing, you know, um, I can always, always get better. So just practicing and keeping up the routine. Now, when you go into a game after you've had some, uh, some time off, did you put any extra practice in during the week to, to try to get the feel back? You know, I was, um, I've been shooting on the goalie, so my shooting has uh, <laughs> definitely improved a little bit. Um, but um, as for draw, no, I just, you know, it's just something that comes natural. Now, I don't want to make you reveal any secrets or anything like that to uh, affect your competitive advantage, but if you could just uh, give the, the viewers and me an idea of what you're trying to do in general when you, when you go in there to take a draw. Um, well, when I take draw, I do try to get it to my left shoulder. Um, my left side, I try to get it right here. So as I step, I can box out my opponent, and I can just grab the ball and run right down the field. It almost looks like uh, a magic trick when it goes right. It's a uh, very sleight of hand and uh, enjoyable to watch. You had a goal, in fact, right off of a draw control against St. Francis on Friday. Pretty crazy to, to see and just streaking right up the field. How do you know when you have that opportunity to, to try to just take it all the way yourself? Um, well, like I said, when I get the ball right to my left hand shoulder, I, I do box out my opponent, so they're usually on my back, and um, I do try to push the center. So as I push the center, I just drive down, and um, you know I look for the open net, and if not, I do pass it off to my um, players or um, my teammates, but I do uh, look for the open net too first. I don't know how many of our, our viewers, uh, I'm sure if you're a Colonials lacrosse fan, you do know, but I uh, want to make sure I mention this. Uh, your twin sister, Corey, is also on the team, uh, both of you from Sparks, Maryland. Uh, so it's got to be, I guess, a lot of fun, first of all, to uh, be able to play with your sister. But just watching uh, what she's been doing this year, very well-rounded offensive player, goals and assists. Why do you think uh, she is so good at all facets of the game? Um, she's quick. Uh, her uh, feet, always moving. Um, she, uh, we have this thing at practice, you know, she falls down a lot, but she gets right back up and, uh, her feet do move very fast and she knows how to get around an opponent. Now, I mentioned that you're both from Maryland, so you are playing in Maryland this upcoming uh, Sunday as part of a road trip in NEC play. We'll be at, at Mount St. Mary's out in Emmitsburg. So what's it like playing in front of uh, a lot of your family and friends? Um, well, my mom, she's a big motivator of mine and Corey's and, um, you know, just having her in the stands, uh, we do hear her voice, so that pushes us a little more. Um, so even if she's not there, you know, she's always watching on the computer, always watching the games online. But when she is there, it's, it's definitely someone to look to in the stands, you know. Like when I come right back at draw, I see her in the stands, so it's definitely a motivator. The Colonials are 8-2 and two right now, 1-0 and oh in conference. I mentioned the St. Francis game this past Friday, a big win there to get things started in league play in the right direction. Also talk about that Mount St. Mary's game, but that's the second game of this mm -hmm. road trip coming up. There's a big one first on Friday out at Staten Island, New York, against Wagner, the team that knocked you and your teammates out of the NEC tournament last year. What did you learn from that matchup, and what do you hope to apply this Friday? Um, you know, Wagner is a great team, and um, we just want to come out strong. Um, we want to, you know, stay on their hips. Um, so I think going into the game, we're all really excited. We know that we want to win it, and um, I think we can accomplish that. And uh, last thing, your team still leads NCAA Division One in goals per game, 16 and a half. So it's a remarkable number, and uh, success this program hasn't really seen at this level, at least on the offensive side of things. So why has the team been this successful scoring? Um, our shots have d definitely improved. Um, from last year, our shot percentage has definitely improved like a hundred percent um we've been working on our shooting we've been trying to you know um cut back on the non hundred percent shots um we really focus on shooting a hundred percent big reason why the colonials score a lot because they have the ball a lot and that's because jess carwacky controls the draw more often than not jess thanks again Thank for the you. time 
And you can look at armycolonials.com this upcoming weekend and all spring as they continue on through league play.